Let's build ourselves a brand new team. Manaphy, we can't use Manaphy, it's a VGC team. Celebi, we can't use Fel Celebi, it's a VGC team. What about a Colossal team? That's not a bad idea. I haven't used Colossal at all. All right, series one. Cloth, Haxorus, Arboliva. I, I, maybe we, you know, let's build around a team. Let's build around a Pokemon that like is new. Start listing new Pokemon that you actually want to see me build a team around. Mew, these are all mythical Pokemon, Deltron. Bombardier, Reverum, Belly Bolt. We could do Belly Bolt. You know what? I'm getting a couple of Belly Bolts. I'm getting... Let's do Belly Bolt. Okay, I already know what's going on here. We're going to build the optimal Belly Bolt team. <laughs> wait, wait. You want to see something crazy? So, like, the optimal Belly Bolt team technically would run a Telepathy or Ranguru. But what if we ran Symbiosis? What if we ran Symbiosis? Imagine. Okay, here. So uh, we're going to go with like a relaxed nature. Um, I want him to be a thick boy. Zero speed. Belly Bolt needs some speed though. Uh, let's just do... I definitely want like max special attack. But I think what we'll do here is... I need to make sure I'm I'm a little bit faster than a Ranguru. Oh no, slower than a Ranguru. So zero speed. And a lot of you guys are going to say, hey... You're going to run speed, you're going to run like speed EVs despite being zero speed. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because it's a lot easier to do this than to hunt for the exact IVs. As well as it, we want to be slower than a Ranguru. we do this. You run modest. Oh wait, is there an easier way to do this? How did I do it in my video? Hold on, I have to consult myself. I have to consult myself. Give me a second. Where was my belly bolt guide? All right. Here, it was... Yeah, it was perfect speed belly bolt. That's what it was. It was perfect speed belly bolt with a quiet nature. That's what it was. Okay. And like four speed IVs. That's what it was. Okay. I have consulted the expert. <laughs> I had to consult myself. I'm sorry. All right. Also, let me log on to a different name. Uh, Sabado Gigantamax. All right. See this. Uh, and we can honestly just do like, I don't know. Max HP. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're, we can optimize the defenses in a minute. Uh, but we want to do Mental Herb, Telepathy, we're going to run Psychic, Instruct, Trick Room, hmm. Encore wouldn't be bad either. I think Yawn's probably good. You've been looking forward to this team? A. Hey. What's the chat saying? <laughs> Moxie Booster makes cool guides, I know about him. Guys, he doesn't trust us, would we lie in the chat? What are you guys saying in the chat that I wouldn't trust? Beanie, how you doing? I just saw you were in chat. Hey dude, Bulldoze weakness policy? Yeah. Oh wait, what am I saying? Yeah, no, Bulldoze. Sorry, I would have figured that out like in a second. I would have figured out that I needed to run Bulldoze in a second. Listen, I'm tired, we just we just finished streaming a lot of ranked. All right, um, I think actually Annihilate is like really good for guaranteeing Trick Room. So we'll probably do Scarf Annihilate. U-Turn, Final Gambit, uh, Close Combat, and Rage Fist. Just do like Jolly Max Max. Defiant. All right, um, Amoongus is obviously quite good here. Or actually, would I want just like a ground type, actually? I feel like a good ground type I could be using here. I wish Ting Lu was legal. Come on. Okay. 
Ting Lu would go crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up running Torkoal too. But I would like it if I could have a ground type that wasn't like a Trick Room Sweeper that just can sit next to Belly Bolt. It's probably going to end up being Garchomp. And I can have like a, a fast mode too. Garchomp, Torkoal, and like Murkrow? This doesn't seem that bad. It gives me a fast mode. Jolly. Terra Ground. Clear Amulet, just like standard set. Swords Dance, uh, actually I run Protect as my first name. Protect, Swords Dance, um, Earthquake, and Dragon Claw. This guy is gonna be Protect, Discharge. Actually wait, isn't this like a move? What's the name of the move? Um, that one electric move that heals you. Parabolic Charge. Doesn't it hit everything? Isn't that like a thing I can do? I could try Barabolic Charge. We'll do Discharge for now. Um, Terra Electric's obviously the play. Uh, Muddy Water is going to be very important here. Yeah, Chomp's going to be Rough Skin. And I think my move... What should my last move be? Acid Spray isn't that bad. I'm Terra Electric, so Terra Blast is kind of useless. I think I just run like Thunderbolt. I could do Parabolic Charge though. I could do Parabolic Charge. Uh, Slack off? No, I don't think so. I think we will just do Thunderbolt. Like, cause water and electric cover just fine. All right, rough skin. Uh, you're gonna be drought. I'm gonna run charcoal on you. Let's give you yawn, heat wave, eruption. Protect. Maybe I run Earth Power. I think I just run Earth Power to not get walled out. Evie Light, Terra Ghost. Uh, remind me that I need to get Terra Ghost on my freaking Murkrow. So you're going to be Foul Play, Icy Wind, Tailwind, Haze. Prankster. And let's open up Picolytics real quick. Does Charcoal stack with Stab? Yes. It's actually, it doesn't even like, it, it increases the power of, um, of your fire moves, not like your attack stat. You know, so like, it, it it's like, yeah, so like, Heat Wave would be 1.5 times 1.5 because of the sun times 1.2. Like, that's the calc. Alright, uh, let's see. So, Belly Bolt, I would like it if you could eat an Earthquake. We'll use that as a benchmark. Oh wait, there's like a better damage calc. Uh, let me grab it real quick. There's a better damage calc I should be using that I'm always forgetting about. There it is. There we go. Because they haven't updated that one yet. Belly Bolts. Oh yes, please, a dark theme. Cool. Belly Bolts, uh, Garchomp. Max Attack. And... I can do plus two, I think. Adamant. Not Jolly. Round. That's just straight up one shots, so we'll just do neutral. Yeah, okay, important. Um, so I already want to make sure I run max special attack, to be honest, so just make sure we live this now. Looks like I can do this.
yeah, that's gonna be our spread. So what is that? It's 52, four, and four. I'm not even gonna run Cal, because I know for a fact I KO so much at plus two. Plus two Muddy Water doesn't quite do it, but it comes close, so like I'm kind of okay with it. Because it's spread damage. Alright. Terra type, what Terra type do I want to be on you? Um, if I don't want to drop to dark moves, I guess Terra Fairy is fine. But Terra Normal is also not that bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? What's a good Terra type for a Ranguru? Make sure you're Terra Fire. Terra Ground, Terra Fire. Let's run standard on this guy. Quiet. Zero speed. Dark, uh, is Dark worth it? Dark for Prankster? I guess so. I mean, I'm, I'm already like running Mental Herb, but I guess Terra Dark's fine. All right. Uh, you know, what? let's just go on my main account. I, I need to ladder it up anyways. I, I don't mind going on the main account with with this. Maybe we'll get some points. Also, I don't want to like be at bottom ladder when I'm like testing a team every single time. All right. That's it. The ladder. Foul play instead of psychic. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Um. I have to be really careful with you in particular. Let's do that. Yeah, I have to, in particular, be careful with the uh, Breloom. Looks like I'm fine, though. Uh, let's go ahead and just annihilate Rotom. Actually, am I scared of a Rotom? I'm not really scared of Rotom. Final Gambit. Um, yeah, let's just go for Rotom. Get the Belly Bolt in. I am one point faster with my Belly Bolt, right? Yeah. There's no shot you're living this, bud. Also, I'm like really, really defensive on my Belly Bolt. I'm super defensive. I can take this. I don't care if your choice banded. And Haze won't stop it either, because the uh, it's gonna go after. Cause they're gonna extreme speed me here, right? I'm fairly certain Billy Bolt eats. I could calc it, but I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm a little too scared. Oh, not even. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, this Dragonite's gone. This Dragonite's gone, gone. Check this out. Charge. Plus two. Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Check it out. <laughs> oh, it lived? What? I guess it is. Wait, how did that live, though? That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. Oh, all right. Um... I just go for a Psychic onto Dragonite, uh, and now I click Discharge again. Or Muddy Water is actually not that bad. Discharge safer, though. Discharge is safer. This guy's got to be, like, max HP. Interesting that would Terra Fire, or Terra, Terra that thing. All right. Instruct you. Discharge. I'm just going to spam discharge. It's going to spam discharge. Also, Rangu is now slower, so I can just instruct immediately. Okay, apparently not. Still does a decent amount. Body press doesn't KO. Just instruct you. This one's going to KO now. 
No, that's fine. Um, trick and protect. Why not? Yeah. All right. Wait, do you want to see the epic play? I can make myself protect and attack at the same time. Bam. Untouchable. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance, right? All right. In comes Torkoal. We win. Yeah, it's not going to save you. I guess they could wide guard, so maybe Psychic's actually the play. All right, GG. Nice. Yeah, it had to be multi-scale to live that one. All right, Scale of Dirge is actually a little bit of an issue because it can prevent that. Um, but I think I just do the same thing. Let's just do the same thing. Let's not overthink this. Let's not even overthink it. Like, uh, Scale of Dirge is running unaware, so it doesn't really care that I get plus two. Uh, but I can actually just, like, instruct and hit it with like muddy waters, I guess. Uh, but it doesn't ignore electromorphosis, so that's actually probably fine. Gothitelle, Arbeliva. All right, um, I want to make sure I get Trick Room off, so I'm just going to annihilate Gothitelle. I don't mind Arbeliva. They may fake out my Orangru, but it's not the end of the world. Because I'm not inner focus, I'm mental herb. This isn't Moxie. How? <laughs> Where's OP spite ops? True. Yeah, there's no OP spite ops. I'm sorry, guys. All right, click your move. <laughs> Skeletor urge. Okay, looks like I got the play right. Trick room goes off. Um. I actually just muddy water here, don't I? I guess discharge works fine too. Yeah. Grass type, that's fine. Still gonna do a lot. Even if you ignore it, it's still gonna do a lot. Especially to T-Tar, check this out. It's gonna live because it's T-Tar, but it's gonna hurt. Ow. All right, he misses the rock slide, which is heat. Torch song, don't care. Don't care. I just got my charge. Check this out. I get to instruct and just smack you again. Uh, and I beat you with Torkoal now. Maybe I single target. Actually, I think single target's the play to guarantee the KO. Thunderbolt, and now I pick up the KO. Now I pick up the KO. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Yes! Nice. Arbeliva. Should be good here. Just instruct and like discharge. Because that's going to get rid of Titar. And then I instruct. Oh, wait. Hold on. Pollen Puff. I go down. Um, it depends if they have protect or not. They don't. Good game. <laughs> All right, cool. No protect. That's very sick. Orthworm. Okay. Uh, this seems pretty belly bolt immune, truth be told. But uh, muddy water isn't that bad either. Actually, it's not that belly bolt immune. I mean, I can just like, I can just like annihilate Garchomp immediately. I think I just do the same thing, to be honest. Let's just like keep hitting the Nene. Let's just keep doing it. What even is your counterplay? Yeah, no, just give me the Garchomp. If they give me the Garchomp here, we're just set. Like, that's just a win. Oh, they protect. Okay, that's fine. Because I can actually instruct. Hmm. Is that my play still? Probably not. Actually, I do that to get a free switch in. And I Psychic Garchomp. Alright, that's fine. 
Get in the Torkoal. I Terra you now. I go for Eruption Instruct. And while, yeah, T-Tar can come in, it still doesn't, like, eat the hit that well. Because I'm going to get rid of Kilowattrol, like, next turn. All right. Um, I honestly think I just still click it. Yeah, I just still click it. I think I actually lose. <laughs> Truth be told, I might lose here. Or I could Heat Wave now and try to fish for a burn since... Yeah. Let's just fish for a burn. I might miss something, but if I can get a burn on T-Tar, that could actually save me the game. All right, I miss once. Get the Kilowattrol is kind of nice. Can I burn you? Check it. Burn. No burn. That's probably game. Yeah, I just fished for burns. No, nope, that's game. Maybe, actually, wait, I might be able to bring it back. It depends if I get, like, a, the world's greatest muddy water accuracy drop after, like, living. I need the world's greatest accuracy drop. And the only reason I keep Torkoal around is to reduce spread damage. Alright, rock slide me. Stomping tantrum. Okay, I'll take it. World's greatest accuracy drop. No accuracy drop. Okay, good game. Good game, good game. GG, well played. <laughs> Listen, I tried. You can't say I didn't try. Alright. Uh, this is pretty cool. They do have counter weather, though. And some priority. Uh, truth be told, though, the Annihilate bleed is still just fine. I think I just do the same thing I've been doing. We have yet to use the Garchomp. I can probably just optimize the team to better deal with, um, like, opposing weather, if that's the case. Maybe I drop Garchomp for Golden Go, if that's, like, what we're gonna do. But then I only have, like, special attackers, so Garchomp's actually probably better. I have to, like, think about what we're not beating. Alright, um, I think in this situation... I'm gonna wanna... Oh, this is actually really scary. I can do this. Um, I final Gambit the Azumarill. And I actually Terra here to prevent a KO with Hydreigon, because it's gonna Dark Pulse me. And I go for Trick Room. And then I just, like, have to rely on, like, Belly Bolt's damage to, like, do the rest. Oh, they didn't even. Okay, interesting. Um, can I win with Torkoal? No, I have to rely on Belly Bolt here. Yeah, because Armor Rouge. Let's go for Muddy Water Bulldoze. Yeah, I don't know why they Tailwinded there. I feel like the Trick Room is pretty obvious. Alright, I missed the Hydreigon, but I KO Armor Rouge, which is fine. Earth Power, that KOs me. Ooh, okay. Alright, uh, I don't hate this. I have two turns of- or I have three turns of Trick Room. It's gonna be actually pretty difficult for the opponent to deal with this. Maybe I should run Foul Play. Maybe that is the play. Because I am getting walled by Hydreigon here. I think I do run Foul Play. Does a decent amount. As long as I don't lose my Torkoal here, I think I always win. But Earth Power will hurt. Okay, I win. Uh, Heat Wave, unless they're like... It, they have to be like... Um, what's it called? They have to be like Ice Shard to actually KO Torkoal, but like no one runs Ice Shard on Abomasnow ever. 
Unless this is like the only ice shard Abomb Snow user. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch to Foul Play. That's a lot better. Especially since I'm Terra Dark. Dragon type, okay, I think we're fine. Especially since I get that burn. Go for Blizzard, doesn't do that much, so I just Psychic here. All right, yeah, it looks like a crit. Hoggers, okay, GG. And I think I got time for one more. Um, This guy doesn't actually have any counterplay for this. He has a ghost type that can switch in on final gambit, but if he's like not gonna do that, I'm fine. <laughs> if he just doesn't, I'm fine. If they lead off with Golden Go, it makes it an even easier first turn for me. I should actually probably like... That's a, that's a real Kalka Rangaroo should live, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to make it more special defensive in that case. Golden Go. Also, I have no special attack now, so I definitely should have changed... Yeah. Hold on. Golden Go. Timid. Um... Plus one, 252, Terra, make it rain. Okay. Luckily, we just kind of eat that. That's kind of insane. You know, we just eat that, even if it's like choice specs. All right. Is that Terra? Dang, a Ranguru is like fat. What? <laughs> Why is a Ranguru so fat? I mean, they're really taking their time. They don't know what to do here. All right. Uh, no. No. Um. Let me final gambit. I was gonna say, uh, there's no Murkrow lead, which makes us a little bit more safe. But if they like reverse trick room on me, that's not the best. Okay. No, they just give me the Garchomp. Let's go. All right. That's game. <laughs> I think that's game. I'm glad we could wrap it up this way. I don't think there's a way they're out. They get out of this. No shot they get out of this. Let me bulldoze. Oh no, buddy. That is not the play. That is not the play, my friend. Taunt wasn't going to do anything anyways. Mental herb didn't care. Bulldoze, that's all me. All right. All of these guys, they're gone. This is the power of belly. But look at all those. Look at all those. <laughs> Incredible. All right, that's game. Good game, dude. All right, GG. Well, they're not even here to read that. But yeah, uh, we're going to wrap it up with that one. Uh, I mean, listen, it's it's a belly bolt team. It's not like the strongest thing. I think what I'll do is I'll optimize this a little bit and then build it in game because I do want to use belly bolts. So I think this is going to be next week's team. So yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this and you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, do whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.